Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematics Pashala. Today I will discuss about a problem which comes in CH and net June 2023 part C from integral equation. Let lambda 1 la less than lambda 2 be 2 real characteristic number for the following homogeneous integral equation this and mu 1 less than mu 2 be 2 real characteristic number for the following homogeneous equation this. We can see that this both integral equation are freedom equation of second kind and the kernel of these two equation are separable kernel. If I solve these two equation directly we get lambda 1 lambda 2 and mu 1 mu 2 then we check this four option. Okay. So let's start the problem. So phi x equal to given phi x equal to given lambda lambda into 0 to 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi sin x plus t phi t dt ok so it can be written as lambda 0 to 2 pi sin x cos t plus cos x sin t into phi t dt now it can be written as lambda sin x 0 to 2 pi cos t phi t dt plus lambda cos x 0 to 2 pi sin t phi t dt ok so now we let this this is c1 and this is c2 let c1 equal to 0 to 2 pi cos t phi t dt and c2 equal to 0 to 2 pi sin t phi t dt so this equation becomes phi x becomes phi x becomes lambda c1 sin x lambda c1 sin x plus lambda c2 cos x lambda c2 cos x ok so now we calculate c1 and c1 c1 and c2 so for the c1 we get c1 equal to 0 to 2 pi cos t phi t means lambda lambda c1 sin t plus lambda c2 cos t dt now from here we get lambda c1 lambda c1 into 0 to 2 pi cos t sin t dt plus lambda c2 0 to 2 pi cos square t dt now if i divide 2 here and multiply 2 here divide 2 here multiply 2 here what we get we get lambda c1 by 2 integration over 0 to 2 pi this one what this one sin 2t sin 2t dt plus lambda c2 by 2 0 to 2 pi this is what this is 1 plus cos 2t dt so what we get lambda c1 by 2 this one is when we if i indicate what we get minus cos 2t by 2 0 to 2 pi plus lambda c2 by 2 what we get t plus sin 2t by 2 from 0 to 2 pi so what we get lambda c1 by 4 cos 4 pi minus 0 sorry cos 4 pi minus cos 0 cos 4 pi minus cos 4 pi, 4 pi minus cos 0 plus lambda c2 by 2 2 pi plus sin 4 pi by 2 minus 0 minus sin 0 by 2 now we can see that this is becomes this is becomes 1 and this is become also 1 
this is become also one so this term and this term will cross off this is become zero this is become zero only this term remain so what we finally get lambda c 2 into pi so c1 we will we get lambda c2 pi so now we calculate c2 c2 equal to what indication over 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi sin t into phi t so phi t is what phi t is lambda c1 sin t plus lambda c2 cos t okay into dt c2 equal to what c2 equal to c2 equal to 0 to 2 pi sin t phi t and phi t what lambda c1 sin t plus lambda c2 cos t so if i do the calculation in the similar manner we will get this lambda c1 pi okay so c2 will get lambda c1 pi so before we get whole c1 equal to what c1 equal to lambda c2 pi so from this we will get we will get lambda c1 equal to lambda c2 pi into pi so what we get basically c2 equal to from this we get c2 equal to lambda square c2 pi square so from this we get c2 equal to lambda square c2 pi square so c2 c2 cross of so we get lambda square equal to 1 by pi square implies lambda equal to plus minus 1 by pi okay now given lambda 1 is lambda 1 less than lambda 2 so it will lambda 1 should be minus 1 by pi and lambda should lambda 2 should be 1 by pi okay so what we get we get lambda 1 equal to minus 1 by pi and lambda 2 equal to plus 1 by pi now we calculate this equation so what we get psi x equal to given psi x equal to given mu into integration over 0 to pi into cos x plus t psi t dt cos x plus t psi t psi t dt okay cos x plus t psi t dt so if i separate this equation what we get mu into 0 to pi cos x means cos x plus t means cos x cos t minus sin x sin t okay into psi t dt now we get mu into cos x 0 to pi cos t psi t dt minus mu into sorry minus mu into minus mu into sin x integration over 0 to pi sin t psi t dt ok sin t psi t dt so if you let this one is k1 and this is this one is k2 k1 equal to 0 to pi cos t psi t dt and k2 equal to 0 to pi sin t psi t dt then what you what you get psi x psi x equal to mu mu k1 cos x plus minus mu k2 sin x okay so, so you get psi x psi x equal to mu mu k1 cos x minus mu k2 sin x now if you if you put this psi x in this k1 then you will get you will get k1 equal to mu k1 pi by 2 and this psi x in, in this k2 you will get k2 equal to minus mu k2 pi by 2 so from you will get the k1 k1 cos of you will get mu equal to 2 by pi and here you will get mu to mu equal to minus 2 by pi now what is said mu 1 less than mu 2 so you have to take mu 1 equal to minus 2 by pi and mu 2 equal to 
plus 2 by pi. So finally we get mu1 equal to minus 2 by pi and mu2 equal to plus 2 by pi. So in the first option what is said mu1 less than lambda 1 less than lambda 2 less than mu2. So let's see mu1 equal to minus 2 by pi lambda 1 is minus 1 by pi and lambda 2 is 1 by pi and mu2 is 2 by pi. So minus 2 by pi less than minus 1 by pi is true. Minus 1 by pi less than 1 by pi is true. 1 by pi less than 2 by pi is true. So this is one is true. So first option is true. In the second option what is said? Lambda 1 less than mu1. So you, we can see mu1 less than lambda. So this is not true. Na? It is false. In the third option what is said? Mod of mu1 minus lambda 1 equal to mod of mu2 minus lambda 2. So mod on mu1 minus lambda 1 equal to what? mu1 means minus 1 by pi sorry minus 2 by pi and lambda 1 means minus 1 by pi so plus 1 by pi so it will get mod of minus 1 by pi equal to 1 by pi now mu mu2 minus lambda 2 what mu2 minus lambda 2 mu2 equal to 2 by pi and lambda 2 is 1 by pi so it will you get 1 by pi so this one this two one becomes equal so this two becomes so so mod mu1 minus lambda 1 equal to mod mu2 this one becomes equal so option 3 is true in the option 4 what is given my mod of mu1 minus lambda 1 equal to 2 into mod of minus mu2 so this should be false so option 1 and 3 are true so if you want to learn basic integral equation if you know don't know about integral equation i will suggest to read the book of integral equation by sharma and goyal if you read this book you will learn integral equation this is very basic book so for thank you watching the video